Okay, so here's uh, an example of how you could use the, uh, the color dropper tool in Photoshop to help you identify colors, um, particularly with appliances to try and identify, you know, what it is that's wrong with something you've already done. So this is a photograph of, uh, of a makeup that was done by uh, someone in a workshop I did recently. And obviously the color of the appliance and the color of the skin are not the same. And although it's obviously you know, easy to say, oh, it's not right. It's very difficult to specifically point out exactly what needs to be added in order for it to be correct. Uh, and the color dropper tool is a really nice way of doing that. What we can actually do is use the color picker tool here. It's a little color dropper to help identify um, what the actual colors are made up of. If we look up here, you can see that there's, um, you can select the sample size. You can choose point sample which is like a single pixel three by three average and up and up until you go to sort of 100 square pixels I'm going to go for sort of 11 which is a nice uh, average size if I click on here what that's actually going to do is select a color and if I choose that color here you can see what where this color is and basically here what it's made up of so 45 percent cyan 53 percent magenta 60% yellow, 19% black, key black. So you can see there pretty average amounts of everything there. Quite a lot more yellow than there is magenta and less so of cyan. Very, very little black. Now if I click on the appliance, you can see that this color has changed because that's the sort of sample area. You can now see the cyan is much lower magenta is much lower yellow is much lower so basically it just needs more blue more magenta and more yellow and quite a bit of black as well to darken it so that's what's missing from this in order to look like that so if we added the missing amount of magenta and cyan and yellow and black to this you would end up with this color over here so it's actually a very nice way of quantifying exactly what the deficit is uh, and so you can be you know better prepared and understand what it is you need to add in order to modify that 